yeah welcome back to the channel you guys uh today i'm going to be giving you guys kind of my review my uh my thoughts on the sonic wake v2 uh we're going to run the boat here at the park pond and uh basically while we're running the boats i'm uh i'm gonna kind of go over some of the good things some of the bad things that i've noticed with the boat uh it's actually more good than bad i give you an honest review okay um pro boat sent this boat out to me to test out and um so far, so far, I really, I really enjoy the boat. Okay, I've noticed with the V2 here that the material is a lot thicker. It's a lot thicker and not quite as flimsy as the V1. Okay, so that's one, one thing I will say. The V2 is it's it's more durable. <laughs> we tested that out uh, with my son racing. He actually nosed into my to my um my v1 and the v2 one <laughs> so um in that aspect the boats the boats ironclad i mean it's freaking durable okay um the electronics as far as i know as far as i could tell they're ironclad all right i've had the efc up to about 160 one time with a big prop on it uh, normally my temps with 100 c 5000 my temps are in the I don't know 130s 140s on the esc the motor it's always under 100 degrees i don't give a damn it's always under 100 degrees um so the electronics is ironclad all right uh you could put that 160 in this boat and really suit this bad boy up and i like the fact that they included the mounting position for the 160 so you could just bolt it right up um I haven't had anything break on the boat yet nothing's broke uh the only thing that did come loose was this grommet right here i guess it was like a tight fit and i had to put another grommet in other than that um that's the only thing that's actually broke on the boat so far i mean that's freaking good i've had it for what two weeks three weeks or so as for the stinger i actually put a stinger on the boat it didn't need it um one thing I will I will kind of comment on was uh, the stock strut. It was longer. Uh, the bushing is is longer, less wear. I don't think that it needed the two adjustment screws on the stock strut. Okay, the two adjustment screws. I think it was fine with just one. Okay, um, the trim tab adjusters, turn fin, everything works as it should. The rudder is uh, shorter and wider. Okay, that should be beneficial at high speeds all right in a left turn the shorter rudder actually the rudder actually comes up out of the water a little bit in a left turn uh giving you a wider turn than the v1 i like the wider shorter v2 rudder compared to the v1 rudder uh well the dual cooling for one and the fact that it uh it less drag basically uh so the v2 rudder and hardware is ironclad okay uh let's see let's see the servos so far the servos good i set my endpoints the servos been good on it no um no seam breakage or anything like that the graphics are all on the boat stuck on good no corners peeling up there uh yeah i mean we're gonna run it we're gonna run it i got 5500 c spectrum packs i also like the fact that they included the sr 350 or yeah 315 so you can bind up a dx5 rugged will have to you have telemetry if you uh upgrade your remote okay that's freaking awesome all right you don't have to buy a 50 dollar receiver for the boat i think the speed for this boat with the batteries that i'm running in the boat is fine my top speed with the stock propeller with the 5100 c's was 48 i believe i had a 48 mile per hour run i just been playing like with my stinger and trim tabs and stuff uh not really being serious about numbers or anything another but. benefit to this boat and its electronics is that the firma esc it has that set button right there so you can run through your parameters on your esc your timing voltage cutoff uh, etc you know motor rotation and it's super convenient to have that set button so you don't have to buy a, a program box that's really nice to see um the boat has a really low center of gravity and it and it holds down in a corner like like nothing i've ever freaking seen before it, almost like one of my delta force boats you know my 35 i mean it, it holds the water in a corner like unbelievably smooth and, and like just 
takes it, you know. So uh, let's let's run it. Let's run it, and I'll kind of go through everything while we run the boat here. All right. So I got my GPS in there. I've got a six. 42 propeller on here Just gonna kind of run it see what it does. I'm gonna probably go up on my trim uh, my, my stinger a little bit here and there with the GPS in the boat But um, I'll give you guys a review like while I'm running it, you know Kind of got a down angle on my stinger But yeah, uh, as for the, the handling of the boat, I, I can't complain at all. I can't complain at all, man. She takes a corner, like she's got a low center of gravity. From what I could tell, the motor was lower in this V2 than on the V1. And it, and it really holds the boat. You could tell, you could tell a difference running the boat with that lower center of gravity, okay? Oh wow, so 50, so 50 miles an hour. That little quick run, 50, okay. So that's my personal best with the boat so far. 50 miles an hour, that's my PB. Okay, that's with like a, a little bit of down angle. I pointed my stinger up a couple of degrees. Let's uh, let's see what it does in that position. A little up angle. This is how I like to run my my stinger right here. We'll see if it's a uh, a better speed than the down angle. Uh, so yeah, back to the boat, man. Um. That looks faster. Let's see what that run was there. Yeah, this boat, I mean, I recommend it for a beginner or or like a, a seasoned boater. They really, they really put a lot of thought into this boat. You know, they didn't just throw new electronics in it and, and call it done with this one. They, they put a lot of thought into it. They put a lot of design into the boat. All right, so 50, so 50 again. All right, with some up trim. I thought for sure that would do better. All right. Yeah, you can tell they put a lot of design into the boat with the hardware to the inner skeletal system. I mean, to, to laying down the servo instead of the servo standing up in the boat, they put a lot of thought into it. And uh, you could tell, you could tell in the way the boat handles. You could really tell. You can really tell, okay? So I'm actually gonna uh, I'm gonna go like a like a neutral angle here. I'm gonna go like a neutral angle here. Yep. Let's see how that does real quick. This 642. I picked up a few miles an hour with this prop. So I had a couple guys asking me what a good upgrade prop for the boat is. They'll keep your temperatures cool. And Octura X642 seems to be pretty good so far. Yeah, man. Like, out the box. I mean, normally when you get it ready to run, you, you, you upgrade the, the, the cooling. to dual cooling. And, uh, you know, that's the first thing you do. This boat's got it. <laughs> you know, you know I've, I've literally just been looking, looking at the boat since I've gotten it. Uh, there, there's nothing to do to the darn boat, really. That's why I put the stinger on there. I had to have something. I had to do something to it, you know. <laughs> uh, the boat's freaking ironclad. I'm not even kidding. The, like I said... The only thing that's broken on the boat was uh, was that one through hole grommet for the for the anten antenna tube right there. Um, that was it. That was freaking it, man.
47. So in line with the bow, in line, 47. I put an Octura 645 on this boat yesterday and it was a little too much for this boat. The Octura 645, it's a big prop for this guy here. It didn't like it. All right, so I put a little bit more down angle on it. Let's check that out, Let's see how that does. Uh, handling wise, the only thing I could complain about is the left turn. That's it, that's it, handling wise. Everything else is on the money with this thing. Battery's about dead. Let's check our batteries. And uh, yeah, the you know the the SR three fifteen it it allows you to check your your battery voltage with an upgraded remote three five six three five sevens on my battery here. So we're gonna bring her in and we'll check the GPS. Um, it don't flip. The CG in the boat is so low that the boat don't flip. And uh, you really don't have to use the damn self writing on the boat, you know? It's um, it's nice. All right, so 48, that was at the end of our packs there. And uh, let's check the temp real quick. All right, so let's see what the temperature said on the 138 on the temp on the remote. Okay, so let's check the temp here. 92 on the motor like I said that motor don't get hot 132 on the money holy cow it was on the money with the temp uh, I think I got a little bit of water in the boat just now because I didn't have these two screws tightened down all the way taking the hatch on and off I really just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the boat so far okay I think it's ironclad all right uh, I get super excited when I get a boat uh, you know and I do a review and it's hard for me to actually give you guys an honest review the very first unboxing video made and run because I get tickled to freaking death when I get a new boat um, I think this I think this is a, a, a great a great buy for the money I think it's a great buy if you have a v1 and you want a new hull this boat, the, the hole, it, you're gonna be able to swap everything over. You might, only thing you might have to buy extra is the motor mount, okay? The, the, the cowlings uh, swap over and everything. All right, so uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick review on the boat so far. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.